40 years. When God rescued the Israelites out of Egypt, Moses led the people in worship. He made up a song of praise. I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Moses sang of all the great things God had done for Israel. After three days in the desert the thirsty people found a pool. But they could not drink the bitter water. Instead of praying, the people complained. God was very kind. He made the water good to drink. It seemed the people complained about everything. We had food in Egypt. In the desert we will die of hunger, they cried. That evening God sent birds called whales. The people caught them easily. The next morning God sent manna. It was a kind of bread that tested like honey wafers. Each morning manna lay on the ground ready to be gathered. In this way God fed his people in the desert. They were to trust God every day for new food. But some people gathered extra manna, even though God said it would rot overnight. Sure enough, yesterday's manna was full of maggots, except on Sabbath day. On that special seventh day the people rested and ate yesterday's manna. God looked after the Israelites in the desert. He gave them food and water and protected them from enemies. When the Amalekites attacked, Israel kept winning the battles as long as Moses held up the rod of God. God said to the Israelites, If you obey my voice you will be my special people. All God says, we will do, the people told Moses. They came to the foot of Mount Sinai and waited while Moses went to meet God. Moses was with God on the mountain for forty days. God wrote the Ten Commandments on two slabs of stone. He told Moses how he wanted his people to live. 1. You shall have no other gods before me. 2. Do not make or bow down to images. 3. Do not take the Lord's name in vain. 4. Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. 5. Honor your father and your mother. 6. You shall not murder. 7. You shall not commit adultery. 8. You shall not steal. 9. You shall not tell lies. 10. You shall not covet. While Moses was with God on Mount Sinai the Israelites did something dreadful. They ordered Aaron to make a golden calf and they were shipped. That instead of God. God was very angry. So was Moses. When Moses saw the calf and the people dancing, he smashed the stone tablets on the ground. Angrily Moses destroyed the golden idol. The wicked men who worshipped it were killed. God replaced the tossed stone tablets. He told Moses to build a tabernacle a big tent with a fence around it, where God would dwell with his people. They were to worship God there. The pillar of cloud and fire showed God was present with them. As they neared Canaan, Moses sent twelve spies to see the land God promised to his people. The spies all agreed it was beautiful. But only two. Joshua and Caleb, believed they could conquer the land with God's help. The other ten spies were afraid of the strong cities and giants in the land. We can't take the land, they moaned. They forgot the great things God had done to free them from Egypt. The people followed the ten unbelieving spies. They cried and prepared to go back to Egypt. They even tried to kill Moses. God saved Moses' life. Then he told the people, for forty years you will wander in the wilderness. Only Caleb, Joshua, and your children will live to enter the land that you despised. Forty years. A story from God's Word, the Bible, is found in Exodus 15 to Numbers 14. The entrance of your words gives light. Psalm 119 to 130. The end.